The assassin-filled world of John Wick just got a whole lot cooler. Oscar winner Halle Berry joining the cast for the franchise's third film and her character, Sophia, not too happy when an old friend walks through her door to call in a favor. You want to kill Barada? I'm not going to kill him. I just need to talk. What could he possibly give to you? Guidance. Look, I made a deal when I agreed to run this hotel. And that deal said that I had to follow the rules of the table. If you're not going to kill him, he is going to kill you. And then probably me, too, for walking you up in there. I'm in. Halle Berry, <laughs> so good to see you. You, too. Thank so good you. to see you, and it's especially considering apparently you haven't slept. <laughs> You've been up all night? I have. <laughs> Why? I'll tell you what I've been doing. <laughs> I do, I do want to know. So you fly in from L.A., you take the red eye, and you just decide it's not worth getting a few hours. No, because this call is ungodly early, so you just need to stay awake and keep a pushing. Let's talk about this movie. You, you play a character named Sophia, deadly assassin with the past. Is it true that you took this role before you'd even seen the script? Yes. Why? Because I was such a huge fan of John Wick 1 and 2, and I knew what would be required of me. I knew that it would give me a chance to sort of, you know, kick ageism in the face. Who People who don't believe that someone at a certain age in life, that they're, they're done, they can't do certain things. I knew this would give me a great platform to show something different. It was really important. This was about you proving something. In a way, yeah. And having good fun and, you know, challenging myself in a new way, too. I heard that the training for this film was the most grueling that you've ever endured. Brutal. Brutal. What made yeah. it so hard? You know, it, my body had to do things that I'd never done before. I learned th three different kinds of martial arts. It was nonstop, six months, eight hours a day, fight training, firearm training, dog training. It was just a full-on six-month, all-immersive experience. Someone said yeah. that you, you actually got hurt during the, during the filming as well. I did. Broke some ribs. Broke ribs? <laughs> during training, yeah. I had broken ribs for probably five weeks and didn't really realize it. Just trying to tough it out like everybody else. And they were like, yeah, just put some CBD on it. It'll be fine. <laughs> and then I found out one day I dropped to the ground, couldn't breathe. And I realized, no, I better go to the doctor. And I realized I had three broken ribs. And you kept yeah. going? For a little bit, and then that sat me down. Then Chad, at that moment, Chad said, now you, now you need to sit down. And I took a little break, and, and I came back. And you've also got another film that you're working on as well. And th yeah. as I understand, you're also directing for the first time? Yeah. yeah. What is this? It's called Bruised. It's a continuation, in my mind, of John Wick. It's the same training. It's Chad. It's a whole 8711. And it's a film about an um, MMA fighter, a woman who is... Um, it's a love story between a mother and a son and a woman who's fighting for... A last chance, not another chance, but yeah. a last chance. A directorial debut. Is that where uh, the career's headed now? I don't know. We'll yeah. see how that goes. If I love it, yes. If I hate it, not so much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> While I have you here, I'm going to put you on the spot. Perhaps you've heard Daniel Craig is, uh, is taping his, his last Bond. Mm -hmm. There's been some talk as to who should, who should take the mantle from, from here. Who do you say? Who would Halle Berry love a to see? A woman. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Queen Latifah. Um, who should take it? Uh, I'd want to see Hugh Jackman. Okay. Or Idris Elba. Ah, Idris, there's been a lot of Idris yeah. Elba talk. I, I would go for him. Um, those, those days as a, as a Bond girl, you miss those? They were fun times. Yeah. Once you're in the Bond family, you're always in the family. Like Barbara Broccoli, they still... They still are my family. Well, while we have you, I want to talk about your Instagram game for a moment because you recently <laughs> just hit, you hit 5 million Instagram followers. Yeah, yeah. But you're also one of, one of the celebrities and maybe one of the few celebrities. Your kids, off limits for the most part on, on the gram. Why is that? I just, you know, I fought really hard to protect their privacy, you know, and I just want them to have their life and have it be theirs and not and also it's a safety issue. I just don't want to plaster them all over the Internet. That just doesn't feel right for me. You know, and they're going to do that soon enough. That, that's going to be their life when they grow up. And, and, and they will choose when that starts. Halle Berry, so enjoyed this. Thank oh, you for staying you. up all night. For thank, us. You. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. John Wick, by the way, Chapter 3 hits theaters next Friday, May 17th.